Spider-Man bed, Spider-Man bed, I love to sleep on the Spider-Man bed, ooh, hello, today I'm talking about game populations just don't matter, when people say like, oh this multiplayer game is dying, I can't play the game anymore because it's dying, I'm waiting for too long, that's complete bullshit, and it's a huge excuse that people use to let uh, devs off easy, and I'm not talking about devs of like small indie games, I'm talking about like big AAA games, I want you to look at like some of the games here. So right here, Halo MCC. Halo MCC really just doesn't have a problem with population, sure. But like even after Infinite came out, even though you have to wait a little bit longer, I'm gonna open up here and show you exactly why it's not a problem. I can't remember exactly what they called it, if they call it like a matchmaking cartographer. Essentially, instead of just, uh, in a lot of games, they'll give you a bunch of game modes to choose from. And if you look at older games, I'm going to give you an example of this as soon as I can. Um, they'll just have all of these little different playlists you go into, and you'll see the numbers on these older ones. And there'll be like three people playing Capture the Flag. Why would you play Capture the Flag if there's like next to no one playing it? Well, what Halo MCC has here, it's like a... If you haven't played it, it's like a, all the Halo games in one. And you can choose what games you want to play. So here are all the games I've ticked here that say, oh, I'm, I'm down to play Halo Reach, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, and then I've got all the game modes. So let's say uh, Bomb and Flag is a population of zero, you know? Well, I may as well tick it anyway, because I like uh, ca uh, Capture the Flag, let's say. But then I'll just tick other game modes with populations. Now, if everybody thinks that way, which is exactly how they do, you end up getting into Capture the Flag games. So if you did want to play that, you end up being able to play it. And that's just great. Obviously, it's not perfect here. Like, the game sizes, you're only allowed to queue for one game size at once. Why not let me queue for just everything and jump me into the first game I find? That way, people who used to think, I don't mind what I want to play, just queue me for absolutely anything, you know? They're like, oh, I like the whole suite of Halo games. I should be able to tick all the game sizes. That way, let's say there is that niche one person who says, I want to play, let's find something really niche. Um, I want to play uh, Action Sack, or let's say let's Team Snipers on giant big teams. If I play that, that's boring to me. That's just like a giant field with people shooting each other up. But some per people might love that. Great, but those people might be like, I don't know, seven people. But because, say, for me, I'm like, oh, I'll just jump into anything as quick as possible. That's what I've got time for right now. I can take everything, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I guess I'm playing this. That's fine. You know, just if everybody gets to select everything as an option, um, that's great, because then you just don't have to worry about population for these smaller modes, because eventually you will find a game now But for those people who just say, you know what, I'll play anything. That's Every game should have this. There's no question. I'll give you another really great example. I should give uh, like a, a counter example first, but the old Call of Duty is a, like a perfect example of this, where you could see the population, and then what would happen in the end if you go back to like try and play Modern Warfare 2, like all these games I'm sure people have played as like a kid or whatever, or like there's like just two things at the top of the page which will be like um, team deathmatch, free for all, and they'll each have like 200 people, 100 people, the rest zero, just zero. But if I could take everything. There's a chance I get to play these old game modes. It's like they just disappeared to the past. It's, it's sad. Uh, I think one of the absolute best examples is um, Team Fortress 2. I know it has um, its problems. Here on Team Fortress 2, if I want to play um, casual matches, I can I can even save my preferences. This is so great. This is excellent like UI and UX design. I can see, oh, here's some game modes here like oh i'm interested in this one this one or well, maybe i don't want to play this one or this one but maybe i'll give this one a try and even more than that if there's a specific map you don't like you can say and look you can even see the like the maps people don't like but by default when i tick this it'll put it in so it makes sure that when look i can also tick core game modes and alternative game modes now i've ticked everything it ensures everybody's like going to give things a try but let's say you're playing through the game and oh i really didn't like brickyard so when i go back into the casual queue 
I can open this up and say, oh, no more Brickyard for me, thank you. And that's great, because now the game is, like, tailored perfectly to me. And the things I'm willing to put up with, because I don't mind them. Let's say, let's find something that's grey here. Maybe there's someone who really likes this map, and they can't find people to play with. But because, by default, I ticked everything, I will end up and give that a try. And I might be someone who also likes Hellfire, even though it's like, seems to be quite unpopular. Like, it just seems so like absolutely obvious to me that like why aren't more companies doing this I, i've seen it with halo infinite like i'm just one guy here and like i've given countless examples of games that existed like tf2's existed since 2007 i'm not sure when this system was added but they'll have custom servers complemented with these matchmaking systems and it just seems like such a no-brainer to me. I don't know why every game doesn't have this. Everyone wins. Literally everyone wins. Everybody's playing the game how they want to play, and the people who want to play the niche game modes, they actually get a chance to play them. Everyone wins. It's It feels like it's, it's almost like ticking these boxes is like programming your opinion. It's like how a lot of people want voting to work. It just makes so much sense. More people should do it. I don't know what to call it. Epic gaming banana.